So I've been getting lots of questions about how we did this uh, stenciled deck. So I wanted to do a, um, a finish on the deck that would be affordable. Um, I would have loved to have done timber or a tile deck, but this is an investment property. So I was trying to find a cheaper way to get a, a nice finish. And so um, I decided to stencil it. And so I'll just run through the process. Um, the finish before we started was actually like a, a terrazzo concrete, which I think is actually quite a sought after desired look. But it didn't really float my boat, so um, we've stenciled it. The first step is to prep the terrazzo. So we use, and that's the only product I don't have here, we got thrown out, but it's pretty much like an acid etch product. It comes in a little tub and it looks like sand, like crystallized substance, which you mix with water. And then you um, broom it on and um, kind of scrub the floor until it sort of bubbles up a little bit and it's etching the floor and giving the paint something to stick to. So that took a couple of hours and then uh, the next day then we put on um, this Berger product Aqua Tread which is for um, painting onto concrete and I had it mixed in um, Lexicon. So this um, base colour here is um, Lexicon. Um, you can get it mixed in any colour you want. And then we went ahead and did the stenciling and I used an artist's acrylic paint, this one here, um, Avalia, you could use uh, Joe Sonja's paint as well. And um, you would probably imagine that we would use, you know, a one by one metre uh, stencil and roll it out, but we did not. We used this teeny tiny little thing here and did every single stencil individually. I'm saying we, but I actually mean uh, my labourer, Adam, who did this entire deck and did an epic job. Um, and didn't whinge too much. That's not true, he whinged tips. But anyway, um, and he used this little um, stipple brush here and then just went at it. Let's not talk about how long it took him to do. <laughs> uh, we're no longer friends. Some of it needed to be done freehand, you know, where around um, the post and whatnot, where we just couldn't get the stencil close enough. So we used this little artist brush here to do it um, freehand. And then to seal it, we used this product here, um, a Vista concrete sealer, which is like top of the range, super hardcore, heavy duty, um, and that seals the whole um, the whole floor, so that yeah, the paint doesn't um, come up. So that's the full process of how we stencil this deck. Yes, it's Rachel Turner here from Front Porch Properties and I'm just here with um, professional stenciler, Mr. Adam Kennedy. Adam, how are you going over there? Yeah, great, having a blast. Yes, it looks like you're um, really enjoying the process. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Um, and I imagine that you'd be um, looking, looking forward to uh, when I ask you to do the next one? Yeah, okay. Keen. Keen. Um, I also noticed you've got a pretty uh, solid technique going on there. Do you have any um, advice for those watching on? Um, buy a bigger stencil. Well, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Signing out for now.